Welcome back to Vintage Survival. We have ourselves a full load of milk in the tank. We're gonna run up and get that sold. And this will be an episode that's been a long time coming because we will finally be using that vintage cotton harvester contraption that we bought <laughs> in the last couple episodes. And, uh, yeah, we do have workers going on other jobs. We have one worker in the Alice Chalmers doing, <coughs> pardon me, doing some uh, plowing. And we have a worker in the harvester with an unloading worker in the pickup doing their work. Uh, that's not what I meant to hit. There we go. Another nice chunk of change from the milk. The only downside to the tractor switch that we've done to making this John Deere, rather than the one that we previously sold, uh, be the dedicated cattle farm tractor is that uh, it doesn't quite turn as sharp. <laughs> so that, that can be a problem occasionally. Looks like the cows are staying nice and fed. How many more runs do we think we have? Let's have a look. Cows. Milk. We have two more runs worth of milk, basically. So that'll be a total of four runs for the day. I guess I will time lapse the rest of this and get started on the cotton field after.
Okay. I need to take a break from driving this thing, so I am going to put this one on the old Corsi play for this field. Should work, right? Maybe do five headlands. And I am on a newer version of course play, okay, um, than previously. We are trying to upgrade to latest again. Um, the last time we tried this, there were a few, a few bugs. But uh, we want to actually start work on the headlands. What does that look like? Yeah, that looks pretty good. Start that job. So we're going to let him just run. What the... Hoot and holler, where are you going, buddy? Um... I think he got lost. And that was one of the issues with uh, with it the last time we tried to upgrade it. They kept leaving the field that they were in and having issues. Let's see. Oh! Well, it certainly doesn't help when... Uh, Traffic comes along and rams them, does it? Are, are you gonna... Oh! This was my screw-up. Cancel that. I'm, I'm all thinking this guy's an idiot. I forgot to change the direction of the headlands. Wow. Okay, so I need to make that go counterclockwise. Let's try this again and start the job. There he goes, much better. All right, let's cycle through our guys here. This got done, I've already accepted the payment. Speaking of, is there any other plowing contracts? There is. Let's just send him straight over to field five, yeah? Field five. I like it. And we have a field five, so we can Send him on his way. He'll go get busy. I did open up our silage pit on accident. I hadn't meant to, but it's all right. We'll 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 figure that out. I don't know if you saw during the time lapse when I was checking contract status then, but uh, oops, there's a couple more full loads of milk. They are making milk, I tell you what. They are making milk real good. They're also making floating bales and proving to me once again that we need to own more grasslands. Yes siree. But we can feed them silage now as well. I think. Maybe I better double check that. Uh oh. Uh-oh. Traffic jam ahead. Somebody r smashed into our truck. Plowed him right into a wall. We can cancel his bit there. Yeah. And he's going to keep 
trying to, or she. There we go. Uh, maybe I better ride with. I'll run this in here real quick. Uh, I guess we are going to the grain mill. Because I would like to keep any excess. You know, like we have previously. So maybe I will take over for this guy at the moment. Because I can turn this corner way faster, among other things. We'll head over to the grain mill. I'm not sure what that other sail point is out in the middle of a field, it looks like. That's mildly concerning. So, hey! <laughs> grain mill. Make sure we go to the right place, unlike before when I tried to go over there to the cereal factory for the oil mill. This one, the grain mill sail point. Yes, and that one up there is the sugar mill. Okay, perfect. So we want to save whatever we can out of this. Oh, uh, we're not going to save much, are we? Nope, not much at all. Alright, so the next question then is... Look at our contracts here. I should have completed that one. We, we have a wheat. So if I want to put this... Into my silo. Send him off. Uh-oh. Really, my guy? Really? I'll just be nice and erase this tree for you, because you're struggling. Better erase that one. And that one. And, you know, that one. We don't want him to be having such a hard time, do we? Hmm. Got something on the bottom of my mouse that is causing it to, like, grind against the desk. Let's fix that. Alright. And we will put this guy on the last waypoint and let him try again. Cool. The plow's going. We want harvester. And the next field is field four. Field four for wheat. Field four. Perfect. Um, hmm. Perfect. And we will use this to our advantage. Send him on his way. Hopefully he makes it. <coughs> ay ay ay. These workers, man. I tell you what. <laughs> there 
we go. So, we want field four here. Oops. Field four. And this contract is going to the grain mill. Wonderful. All right, this guy is busy. This guy's busy. Just send that tractor along for the moment. Oh, and of course, you found. I'm just going to end up. You know, nuking all these. Come on. Go away. There we go. Oh, and then he's just going to ride right... Oh, nice way to handle that car. You go, buddy. <laughs> Alright. That was a little crazy, but... What do you do? Take back over here. <clears throat> um, so yeah, based on my prior comment that I started to say, we definitely need to. There we go. Tater, shove that guy in there. Need to look at some grass fields, like those two right across the road. We can own those. That'd be nice. And as soon as that canola just south of the cow field is done, we will harvest that as well. And uh, turn that into grass. We don't need canola. So, you know, I guess we do have the grass fields. I just don't believe they're going to come along fast enough for us to feed our cows. We have nothing left. For hay. Oh, I guess we have more than I thought we did. 27,000... We must still have some on a trailer. Okay. That makes me feel better. I will have to look at that when we get right back over there. For now, I've waffled on about nonsense and got stuff sorted for... 13 minutes, it says. That can't be accurate. Because it's not changing. We have a bug, it looks like, in uh, OBS. But I'm going to shut you guys down for a little bit, and I don't know if we're going to come back to more talking or back to more time-lapse. We shall see. Okay, we are riding along with, <clears throat> well, we must have just arrived, with our cattle tractor in order to pick this thing up. This is the most vintage, well, one of two, uh, of the most vintage and, funny enough, location appropriate. Oh, crap, it's got that high hitch. All right, let's look at our other option. Nope, we're still running, so it must have been one of the other tractors. This is our other option for a feed mixer. Same price. Mm, I kind of like the default green. But I don't like that yellow barf. Alright, so this is a feed mixer. And then we also have this as an option, which is basically the same thing. Um, but a smaller capacity. Yeah. Um, there's not a lot of great options for vintage feed mixers, unfortunately. So. Yeah, I guess we go with this guy. Oh, we don't 
want a license plate anyway. Because we're gonna start need to start making mixed feed. I'm also a little less concerned than I was about doing any kind of what am I trying to say? Grass fields. I forgot we planted our big one by the lake by our house as grass. Um, and that's sitting there because we need to spray some weeds off momentarily here. So I need I guess cow pen field will be or milk will be fine. No, it won't because I yeah I will. Um, I will just have to take it over. Oh good, combine's done. Take him off of there. He can go back to the farm. The truck can head off to the grain mill. This guy's still cranking away. This guy's. Hold on. Neither of those is right. Come on, thing. There. Let's try this all over again from scratch. Number of headphones, two. That's rather unfortunate, but it is what it is. All right. This guy's going, this guy's going. The truck is going, but I have a few minutes. I'll ride along with the truck while I do our next purchase. We need a small tractor with narrow tires to do the, the weed spraying so that there's no crop destruction. Oh, that would be awesome. But I don't know if those are considered narrow wheels or not. Um, so we're going to not go with those. Wheel set up. Front weight. Rear weight. All standard. I mean, I hate it when you just don't know. You know what I mean? How about the WD-45? Uh, nope. From all 300, wheel set up. Weights, more weights. <laughs> all the weights. He's still going along. John Deere 620. Little brand Midas. All that's really messing with is the... He's got a long way to go yet because he went a weird way. I shouldn't have to struggle this much, you know, to find a tractor that has narrow wheels. Come on. Uh, 
I just want a narrow tire tractor. <laughs> How about narrows on here? Can we get... Oh, there's wides. We don't want wides. We aren't going to find anything with hair wheels easily, are we? In a vintage tractor. I'm going to keep searching and get the grain delivered. I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Alrighty. So we got ourselves our first TMR mix. I did pick up a stole front loader bucket matched up color-wise you know, for our John Deere here. We're going to try to squeeze right up in here. Bashing into our milk tanker like crazy, but... Let's deliver... Perfect. And we'll leave that there. <laughs> Grab our tanker. We do already have another full load of milk. So go deliver that. <clears throat> we have a cotton harvester to sort out as far as unloading. And we need to check up on the uh, cultivating tractor, the Alice Chalmers there. And I never did find. I had to stop looking briefly, but I never did find a tractor for doing our spraying. Yeah, so that big field straight in front of us right now, by around our pond, that's grass. We don't need to worry about a grass field like I thought we did. I had just forgotten that we had done that. The little field right across the road, however is where we need to be able to spray weeds at. I will show you if we can squeak out of here. All right. We're just going to actually temporarily abandon this right here. Aw. No hanging up on trees. Thank you. So I need to find out if these trailers will take cotton. Because if they do, that is really good for us. Please have cotton, please have cotton, please have cotton. Wow, literally everything except cotton. That stinks. Because I did already try, as a test, unloading directly, and it did not work. Oh, we need them, need spraying in that field, too. Dang it. We need to harvest our little bit of corn right there. That's no big deal when the harvester gets back. Yeah, for some strange reason, this field has no weeds there, but it does have weeds over here. I realize that was an extension, but it's still kind of weird. Do we actually need care, wheel care wheels? No. Quick test with the pickup. Apparently we do not. Okay, that's a good data point. I'll be back when I get things sorted. 
Well, we got ourselves a spraying rig. I've already done the first field. Uh, a little bit of it that needed to be done anyway. We picked up an Oliver Super 88. And it is phenomenal. I'm in love with this tractor already. I don't believe I've ever used this mod before. And I'm really regretting it because it is nice. One thing I am going to do, though. Can't take these little trees everywhere anymore. Alright. Did we not even ever plant this field? Is it literally just weeds? No, we got soybeans in there. Okay, good. I was concerned. So we got our 9 meter working width John Deere sprayer here. And, I mean, we bust right along with this uh, Oliver pulling it. I did go for the wide front end instead of the standard narrow, but uh, I don't think that detracts from it in any way, shape, or form. guys might have a different opinion, but that is mine. Alright, I'm gonna back this up, though. And try to... Yes. Nail the wiggle. <clears throat> um, let's see, what else? We did find a trailer for our cotton pickup truck has that trailer down there with the cotton harvester. They're probably ready for me to come unload. I'm doing it manually because I don't feel like monkeying with the pickup truck's offset and then having to monkey with it again. So yeah, it, it came out of that same MTZ pack as the cotton harvester did. I went through the trailers and I'm like, well, there is none. And then I went, wait a minute, I bet you there's something in that pack. And sure enough, there was. So that's what we have. Uh, looks like our harvester has decided to try to ram the edge of the map through the trees. He made it through the trees. But I don't know what he's doing or why. For the moment, you know what, we're gonna zip right out here like this. For the moment, we'll pull this guy right in here. The cotton harvester's still going, believe it or not. Okay. This guy can just go back to the farm. really straight into a tree I mean come on what a I guess the harvester driver was drunk again. Typical, right? <clears throat> oh yeah, look how drunk he was. He even missed a section here. He was probably trying to come back for that. And 
when in doubt, stick your pipe out. For now, he's just going to get parked right here because we need to do a farm cleanup to put some equipment back where it's supposed to be, get some big bags out of the way, you know, all those little things. Ignore the fact that I forgot to start the time again after completing my shopping. Damn it. I'm getting really bad about that. Too many distractions in real life is a part of that problem. But yeah, we got this handy dandy trailer here that came right out of the same pack. And all we gotta do is slip right in here next to the harvester. Not close enough, unfortunately. Oh, come on. Yeah, that's the downside. You do have to be very, very close. There we go. This is for both fields. Unfortunately, one of the contracts is not going to complete because it. I'm sure you guys probably saw during the uh, time lapse. Uh, I need to go the other way. It will not let me harvest part of the field. So it won't complete because of that. You know what? We're going to zip right up this verge here to the other road. Oh, that's not even where I wanted to go. That's... Oh, maybe it is. I don't know. The roads on this map go kind of all over the place. With no rhyme nor reason. Which is probably pretty accurate, right? But right over here is our spinnery. We're going to pull in there. I can't remember if I showed it, but I did do a TMR mix and get the cows fed. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I did show that, but... If I didn't, now you guys know. And we will just let all of this go. There's no reason for us to keep any. We'll just take the profit. Pretty good profit at that. Oh boy. All right, I'm gonna faff around trying to escape out of here. Well, maybe, maybe I won't need to. Oh, barely. All right, I will talk to you guys again on the next episode. I think we're at a good stopping point. It's getting into the evening, and all of our tasks, with the exception of this one contract that's broken, are complete. Oh, no, it did actually finish it. That's good. So that is all of our tasks for the day. For the next episode, none of those are appealing. We can do that. We're not going to do carrots. Wheat sounds good. Sorghum would also be good. Canola and oats are better paying, though. Um... And then, yeah. So there's a nice uh, group of contracts for us to start the next episode with. For now, I'd like to thank you all for watching. And as always, I will see you on the next one.